This video is going to show you the easiest way to bomb the carriers in Call of Duty Vanguard campaign. I'll show you a few tweaks that you can make to your settings to make sure that you come out from the dive bomb unharmed. After watching this, it will become much easier to control the plane and complete the mission. Let's get into it. So if you've clicked on this video, it means that you, like myself, are getting frustrated at the Battle of Midway mission in the Call of Duty Vanguard campaign. Bombing the carriers can be extremely annoying and unnecessarily difficult. Well, not to fear, I'm about to show you some key tips that will make it that much easier. The first thing you're going to want to do is set the flying controls to inverted. This may be considered a personal preference, but I believe it's much easier to pull down on a thumbstick whilst pressing other buttons. This is also the same for the mouse and keyboard players among us, as swiping down on the mouse is certainly easier than flinging it up towards the top of your desk. With that out of the way, my main tip is to increase your sensitivity just before you enter the dive bomb. This will allow you to pull the plane back up quicker when you need to. This tip especially works for mouse and key as I tried it on 6 sensitivity and 800 dpi and just kept flying directly down into the carrier. On the way down, you're bound to get shot or hit by something here and there. I've tried it on every difficulty, it's the same for each. Best thing to do is try and dodge as much as feasibly possible but concentrate more on the timing of the bomb drop. When it prompts you to aim in, line yourself up with the target and spam RB or R1, whichever console you play on. Obviously for mouse and key, whichever keybind you have attached. As soon as it allows you to drop it, immediately start pulling down on the thumbstick, or again, swiping down with your mouse. The whole point is, for dramatic effects, you're supposed to get very close to the carrier, and will probably fail a couple of times at the start. Once this is completed though, immediately pause and change your sensitivity back to whatever it was before. The next section is a straight up fight in the air with some Japanese zeros. This is a very messy mission from start to finish. The flying mechanics aren't great and it's incredibly hard to get a good shot on a plane. Also, the amount of flying around and doing barrel rolls is quite frankly obnoxious. Anyway, once that monstrosity is out of the way, you'll ascend up again, ready for dive 2. Don't worry though, all you need to do for this dive is get to the point where you're about to drop the bomb. You won't need to alter your sensitivity as you're not asked to pull the plane back up before crashing. Again, you're going to be shot on your descent, so bear that in mind and attempt to dodge as much as possible, but like the first time, it's near impossible to dodge everything, so don't worry too much. When the bomb is dropped, it will trigger a cutscene and the jobs are good in. Right, so hopefully that helps you complete this ball lake of a mission. If it did, a like on the video would be much appreciated. Also, we're halfway to 1,000 subscribers, so if you're feeling extra generous, hit the subscribe button too. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.